Hold on, just a second. Okay, now go. Start again. Okay. Last name not capitalized? No, I'm, no, I'm just wondering what, that, what are the names, the common names has to do with the, the firm? Like, what, this one? Jose? You guys have common names, yeah. Yeah, yeah. this is, um, my middle name is Jose too. Like he's Your middle name is Jose? Yeah, I am Jose. Get out of here. Yeah, that's something new though. Yeah, yeah, Jose. Know. So you have four <laughs> names though. So. Yeah, and we need Jose to be on the it's okay. I want the next guy. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I always wanted to ask. I don't like that. I don't like that. I like it. Okay, by the way, the speaker is here. He is um, a very old teacher from many years ago. He was um, Okay. I was just going to say, the poem is called So You Know Me Sincero, which is, I am hard and honest man. He, the way he's famous is because he wrote a play, Amor con Amor Se Paga, which is, Pay Low Back with Love, which translation is made by himself. He, as I told before, as I said before, he was a translator too. He's not only he's not writing only in English um, in Spanish, but he wrote his his work in English too. Also, Saint Martin is um he was patriotic. He was a freedom fighter and poet. He's considered the national hero. Even there is as I as I was um, looking for information from him, from him there were some. Status of him in Spain and in Cuba because he was a very anxious man to get freedom, freedom to his country, which is Cuba. At that time, he, Cuba wasn't free from Spain, so he was traveling to Spain to, to mm. Cuba. And also, he died by some trucks from Spain, basically, they killed him. Fighting for his country's freedom. Who's they? Huh? They killed him. Who is they? The Spanish, the Spanish tribes. Oh, I thought it was the United States. No. Well, he travels a lot to the United States too. He was looking, seeking for help. So he was born in Havana, Cuba, in 1853. As I say, he worked as a professor. Guess where? Guatemala. In my country. Ah. That's why I picked him. That's a lot thanks to the. And guess where his wife to? He found his love in my country. Ooh. In Guatemala. <laughs> Next slide. How do you get it to do that? This picture. <laughs> this picture means a little bit about what it says in the. And in, in every stance. Like, I'm going to read the first one. I have three things here Spanish, original one, English, the one that he, he, um, he this is translation of himself, and this one by me and Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to read this one in Spanish. Yo soy un hombre sincero, 
donde crece la palma. Y antes de morir me quiero echar mis versos al alma. Ok. As you read Spanish speakers, you guys can read them first in Spanish, and then look at the picture, what it tells you. This is what I think, what I see in my mind when I read it, when I'm reading it. Also, one, those who don't speak in, I mean Spanish, you guys can read either, either this one or that one, whatever you guys understand better. Okay. I'm a sincere man. No, no. A sincere man. I am. Am I? <laughs> From the land where palm trees grow. And I was before I. And I won. And I won. Before I die, my soul verses to Besto. Actually, I don't understand very well this version. Because he was a great writer. He used very high vocabulary words. And very, that's an old English, I guess. It's a keyboard in a tree, so English is not like more English than today. So maybe he changed a little bit. But that one's the original, I mean the version that I wrote. Like it says, I'm an honest man from where La Palma grows. And then before I die, I want to throw my soul verses. I just want to you read it better. Because if I read it, I think you won't feel like why did you, 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 when you translated it, you kept La Palma? Yeah, La Palma is just. It's a place. Like, no. Is it a place? It paint more images. It's a tree. It gives a better image in, mm -hmm. in your mind. Yeah. I would like to. Oh! Pawns in the background. Versus means like. It's like couple of many doors. It's like a connotation image. Like if you really, very get a little time to, to think about it, you will maybe understand it. Now I want music. Okay. 
yo vengo de todas partes, hacia todas partes voy. Arte soy entre las artes. En los montes, montes soy. <laughs> Spanish speakers. The background shows a little bit about what it says. And I can only put it in Spanish. Also, I put a first translation, which is by himself, yeah. and that will by, by me and Google. <laughs> And that says, I'm a traveler to all parts, and I'm a newcomer to the north. I am art among the I am art among the, the arts. With the mountains, I am one. And actually, actually I'm still doing getting the first, the, the one that he did, because as I told, it's a very high color guy. And then, the one I, I, I did it, I'm, I'm, I come from everywhere. I go through everywhere. I am art among works of art. Inside the mines, I am the mountains. It's, it's very, it's a very hard stance that we, I don't know if you guys call in your mind, everyone. So how do you think? When you read this little straw? Yeah. yeah. It's very poetic way to say something. Anything like that? Oh, I have a question. Yeah. Is it a poem? This is a poem, right? This is a... We are not yet to the poem yet. The poem, the whole poem is not... This but is a... Read the, some lyrics. part. Yeah, so some just part one of the So, so, well, so my question is like, Are you in two or three words, what is the poem about? Like, I just want to understand a little bit. The poem was about like, a, a, a sincere man. So the first stanza that when you started, that was the first stanza of this poem. Yeah. Now this is the second stanza. Is that yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I need Four minutes. So we go to see what the next slides are? This is in Spanish, so the next one is going to be in English. Oh. Oh my god. It's very big. I don't know if you guys want me to copy this one and give it to each one so you guys can read it. Oh, no. I'll make an executive decision here. Can you just read the first three stanzas so we hear it? Yeah. For those of us who don't speak Spanish? Oh, in English? No, I want you to read it in <laughs> Spanish. It's okay. for me. Soy un hombre sincero. De donde crece la palma. Y antes de morir me quiero echar mis versos al alma. Yo vengo de todas partes. Hacia todas partes voy. Artes soy entre las artes. En los montes, montes soy. Yo sé los nombres extraños de las hierbas y las flores. Y mortales engaños y de sublimes dolores. It's easy to hear the rhyme. Yes. Yeah. So you want to hear me? Yeah. This is the original translation by Jose Martin. A sincere man I am, am I? from the land where palm, palm tree goes. And I want before I die my silver system to this <laughs> I am a traveler to all parts and a newcomer to know. I am art among arts with the mountains. I am one. 
I know how to name the class all the strange flowers that grows. I know every blade of grass, paralyzed, insolent water. <laughs> That word, the word bestow there, it, it's a word that probably most of you don't know, in, in that uh, it's, it's, uh, it has a connotation of a gift. When you give somebody a gift, you bestow a gift. So it has the feeling of he's giving us something, or his soul is giving him something. I don't know. And as continuously, I have more pleasures, but I don't know. Time is just kicking me out. Definitely. Okay. This is Brian. Oh. And medical, by the way. Oh. And it's inside. Okay. What it says, alas vi en los hombres de las mujeres. Yeah. Alas nacer vi en los hombros de las mujeres hermosas y salir de los escombros volando las mariposas. It, it gives me an image a woman with wings, right? Beautiful lady. Like it says, Alas vi means I have seen wings. Born on the shoulder of a beautiful woman. And out of the rubble, flying butterflies. Yeah, this English is really good. Yeah. Well, also, you can read this one. Whichever you understand better. And this, the rhyme in Spanish here is, when we say, hombros means shoulders, hermosas mean beautiful, like ladies. I say ladies, beautiful ladies, hermosas. Is hombros like similar to hombros, is hombros, hombros, and hermosas to mariposas. Fire. Fire. Yeah. 
Why do you think that I put a donkey in a classroom? It's, yeah, it's cool. I, I'd like to have that on my Facebook. It's better than a monkey. <laughs> 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 but you have the coolest monkey ever. Okay, this is a question to all of you guys. What's that? I'm wondering oh. to myself. So what do you think? I, I was thinking about oh, yeah, okay. when I just put that back on the Is that the monkey? Is like, that's a beautiful room. Like, is that in a classroom or no, what? No, I mean... Like some kind of laboratory or I don't know. The thing is, it is a classroom. It doesn't matter if it's fancy or not. I mean, I think it's too. But what do a donkey in a classroom? I'm not going to answer it. I'm just going to let you guys to think. There's many questions. Huh? Does a donkey have one still learn? No, no, no. You have? Nothing? Yeah. Two and a half questions? No. That was. This to me is it's like a connotation. This this stands. It says, Cayo y entiendo y me quito la la pompa del rimador. Cuelgo de un árbol machito mi muleta de doctor. With a with a word. I, and I understand, and I take the tongue of the rammer, and I hang up from a wither tree, my doctoral dude. What? This, the answer here. What it says is not what it means. For me, I don't know if it's for you. For me, if this is Jose Marti, when he was writing this poem, and not just this one many, many others that he wrote, people will remind him. I don't know if that will be forever, but it will be for a very long period of time. And that's why it's like, what he says, he hung I think his, um, from a wither tree, the doctor of hood. Like, he died, but he, he, he leaves something to the human humanity, uh, to the people, to remind him always. He, actually, he's died, but in your mind, he always will be, will be there. He's still, like, alive. So, how... It's like how when, you, when, you, when you have a harvest, you put the seed in the floor, I mean, in the ground, and then this goes. I don't know, maybe that's my understanding, but I'm not quite sure what you say about how the donkey is connecting to... Oh, the donkey is another connotation. Because if you come to the to classroom, you don't pay attention. They don't know what you're going to do. I mean, if you pay attention, you'll be a donkey. You're not learning nothing. <laughs> because usually a donkey never comes to a classroom, right? Yeah. I don't know if you understand. Yeah. Say it in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Solo vienes a sentarte vacía y no quieres nada de esos burros. Pero que tiene que ver eso con el con la con la oh, son diferentes. Connotation, pero puse, yo lo usé esa imagen para dar un, un mejor entendimiento a la estrofa que tengo acá. Ya, por dos, no se speak Spanish, any question? I will try to answer my day. ¿Me ganó? 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 ¿Me which character? How about how? No. <laughs> Will you stop reading those questions? <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, my question for you, you is, why? how many characters do you No, 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 don't worry. Why would you choose this poem? Why did I choose it? Yeah. 
because it has many connections with my country, my name, and this man was very great, a great man. Thank you, you know. It was very famous. I like because he is a very, he's like a hero. People consider, consider him like as a hero. So I thought this poem was a, a song because I heard that poem in a song. Really? Yeah. Wow. That would be interesting yeah. to try to Google that. Yeah, en, en canción. Yeah. Es que dice, yo soy un hombre sincero. Sí. Y que me quedo. Wow, well, that's a slide. <coughs> Here's a couple of quotations from Jose Marti. Okay, I want uh, I want to you guys read this one. Report those two. And if you have a question, I don't think you guys can have one question. But this, they are very good ones. But the quotation has is connecting with the poem or no. just something? It seems like it connects to me. Yeah, like the last part. I am good, I am honest. Yeah. Maybe the last two sentences. He tried to say it with one. Someday he, is the, he was gonna die. And all we know is that every people who die, they die down in the in the, box, in the grave. In the grave, facing us, where the sun is everything. Uh, always. I the sun is always that. there. You will be always here. Even if you're underground, underground. You will always face it now, even if you die. Do you have to? Know? <laughs> well, they could bury you face down if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering. Just, just wonder, leave a note. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Okay, Tammy, all, all of you, when you see this picture, does your emotions change? Just huh? keep looking, keep looking. Don't look anything else. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. And take it serious. Somehow. It does, it does. Okay. This poem was all about death, sorrow, and pain. That was the theme of the poem. And this is about geography, some of the other where I found the ponds. Okay, you guys ready? <coughs> oh my god, good job, guys. Is that your picture? <laughs> <laughs> you think it fits me? <laughs> That's Marty when he was really young. No, it's a kid. Look, look, I'm going to make it. Okay, okay. 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 Metaphor? Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry, you were going to say something I'm else. Yeah, the metaphor is when, the, when he compared the butterflies to the ladies. Oh. Also, there is an, an image. Right. In the same, in the same way. Wasn't that a simile? Oh, I don't have any simile. No? Okay. Okay, yeah, just uh. I'm sorry, but they're doing an interview and they need it really quiet in here. Oh, so I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf. Thank you. <laughs> it's my fault. Okay. So. Any questions, by the way? This. Uh,
Yeah, you will come in. That was awesome. Telling you. 